Could you tell us uh, about your Cormorant Midlife Update, which I understand you've now uh, been officially awarded the contract for? Yeah, the, uh, well, we haven't actually been awarded a contract just yet. We've now had a letter of notification of the intent of the Government of Canada to move towards a single source solution uh, using the Leonardo um, programme, uh, using the Cormorant here, the Cormorant Upgrade Aircraft. So our intention is to upgrade the current fleet of 14 Cormorant helicopters that the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force in Canada use for search and rescue, uh, as well as augment the fleet with an additional up to seven additional aircraft uh, to support their SAR missions around Canada. The intention there is to deal with obsolescence and address some of the long-standing obsolescence issues with the aircraft and return the aircraft to Trenton to carry out search and rescue operations across four bases in Canada rather than the existing three bases. And you've got experience with the uh, uh, AW101 midlife updates uh, with the Commando Merlin having recently been delivered? Uh, yes, we've done actually two programmes with the UKMOD most recently. We've converted the Merlin Mark I to Merlin Mark II, where we've actually updated the avionics and architecture of the aircraft, uh, a new mission system for the Navy. And at the same time, we're now just starting a programme with the uh, Merlin Mark III, which was originally an Air Force aircraft, and we're converting that to a Navy Merlin Mark IV standard, which means an updated architecture for avionics, uh, plus marinising the aircraft, including a folding tail rotor and a folding main rotor head. And will that be the same with the Cormorant? Uh, no, the Cormorant will not have folding uh, capability, but it will be an upgrade in terms of upgraded architecture, upgraded mission system, uh, addressing the obsolescence, and that is entirely based on the Norway standard, the latest standard of search and rescue helicopter we deliver for the Norwegians in terms of that architecture.